green stuff, money, by the millions, by the miles. Or solitude, birds at dawn, trout in the shade, deer at dusk, a greenhouse of pleasure. The forests of Canada that harassed the explorers, terrified the settlers, but lured the trappers west, have little left to hide. The boreal forest, or how the world thinks of it, northern, vast, and inexhaustible. The coastal region, densely crowded in between ocean shores and mountains. Subalpine growths scrambling around their high slopes and dropped between the dry montanes where ranches lie in the valleys. An intermediate region lower than subalpine, drier than the coast, Colombia is intermediate in yield. The area of deciduous trees is reduced to parks and pleasant woods, brilliant in the fall. In spring, along the Great Lakes and down the St. Lawrence, white pine is shipped to the mills and the sap runs in the maple. Acadian is made distinct by the dominance of red spruce, the supplier of the disposable tomorrow. In the Acadian forest, early settlers found game, but fuel too, and wood for shelter. Then later, timber for ships. Masts, bulwarks, keels, decks, oak, white pine, hard yellow birch. There are forests left, but most common are the woodlots. So many cords a season, the farmer cuts down for firewood. The surplus he sells to a pulp mill. But it's not worth his while to mechanize. There's no great profit from a woodlot, but with care, it's dependable. of the great boreal forest region begins in Newfoundland. Here the trees still grow faster than men can cut them down. But the men are just beginning, and they are mechanized. first training ground for many Newfoundland loggers. And hands that hauled in nets, lines, and anchors are responsible for building a pulp and paper industry that will grow as fast as trees can. St. Lawrence, loggers and raftsmen were heroes of our first folk songs. But cutting down pine, fir, and spruce in wider and emptier circles, the mills along the river bank have been forced to draw from farther and farther away. As the distance increases, so does demand, so does the cost, and the folk songs are dying.
Maple, beech, ash, deciduous trees, oak, hickory, walnut, and the immemorial elm grow in southern Ontario, a land long lived in. Machines used in the boreal woods north of Lake Superior glean trunk, branch, and twig. is less than the growth rate. How the forest floor has been affected by heavy machines, we will only know as seedlings mature. Over the prairies, the boreal forest is made to stretch with trees planted by man. Shelters which make less hardy crops possible. Poplars and birches stand between the long send of wind and fields of hybrid seed. This patchwork spread makes a safe nursery for farms and gardens. The Columbia forest region, like all the others, must be logged with foresight and after assessment of its promise. is taken by more than just logging, more than man after money. There's waste and loss. There's fire, disease, insect damage, decay. So how fast is it growing? How much is being added each year? How is the growth rate affected by environment? And the environment? How is it affected by cutting down trees? Is the water level constant or running off? Subalpine slopes lose soil in a swift runoff. Roots need soil, and soil needs moisture to grow roots. The lower slopes and the valleys of the montane need the moisture from above, fed gradually, lastingly, into summer. sparsely settled areas, the needs have not changed in a century, nor the methods of supplying the needs for building materials, for fence poles, cradles, coffins. 
They can be had from the local sawmill. But the boreal wilderness regions are often the densest because they are in the wilderness, far from mills. So the mills are coming to them at last. And the lumber communities in northern BC today are not the logging camps of legend, where the immigrant, the destitute, came to make a fast buck. is immediate for men. We live for tomorrow or die. For a seedling of a Douglas fir in the coastal rainforests, tomorrow is a hundred years away, or a hundred and fifty. Meanwhile, concrete, glass, the need for wood is increasing as wood takes strange new forms. we have squeezed ethyl alcohol, artificial flavoring, synthetic fibers. With each new use for wood, our forests become more valuable to our economy. While for the old uses, they become year by year more precious to us. More precious by far. Mm -hmm. 